Hi everyone, I am Jackie and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you're on my channel, I hope you find something that you like, something that you find interesting, that you want to subscribe and leave comments and all that jazz. And if this is your not the first time, I welcome you and you are the real MVP and I say it every time because I mean it, because you keep coming back and I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, today I'm redoing a video that I did years ago. And the reason I'm redoing it is because, first of all, my hair is different. <laughs> my lighting looks better because I have a better phone. <laughs> um, but someone asked, and I was like, yeah, you know what? With some years of experience and years since that video, I can give a little bit more insight of my opinion. So, today we're talking about why did I not become a nurse practitioner and instead went to PA school. Now, my video is not to bash any nurse practitioners. I think that we have some very strong nurse practitioners that are out here doing some great things. They're out here saving lives. And that's not at all the point of the video. The point of this video is to give you my reason, reason my why, why I did not choose as a nurse to go on to nurse practitioner school and instead chose to go on to PA school. So, um, first things first, those of you who don't know and didn't like get the clue, I am a registered nurse. I went to nursing school, got my associate's degree in nursing and my bachelor's degree in nursing. I worked for five years as a nurse before I went on to PA school. My nursing experience um, includes me working on the floor of a cardiac telemetry floor and the emergency department, which is one of my favorites, and then the ICU. And back to the ER before I went to PA school. <laughs> um, I found myself as a nurse, like I was really excited when I started out working and I love the learning, I love fast pace, I love, um, you know, just like the sick people. So that's why I worked where I worked. But I found that I would be good at protocols, like I can run a protocol. I knew some things about some medical conditions, but I was concerned that I did not know why certain medications were being ordered instead of other medications. Like somebody comes in with chest pain or pneumonia, I can, I can run down how to treat you by the protocol, keep you safe, but I wasn't quite sure as to why are we doing what we're doing. And while I could just look it up and be satisfied with that, I would never be satisfied with only that. So I decided I wanted to further my education. now. I did think I was going to be a nurse, not I mean, a nurse anesthetist before, but I actually shadowed a nurse anesthetist, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I am going to kill somebody because this is boring." <laughs> like I legit shadowed, and I was like, "Is this what we do? Like you can make a lot of money, but that was not for me. I need to be doing something." Um, I considered medical school. And at the time I was married and I was like, why well, go to medical school? Because the way I study and all that stuff, I will be divorced. Guess what? I mean, I got divorced, but you know, it just wasn't in the cards for me to go to medical school. Um, and then my option came down to PA versus nurse practitioner. Now I am gonna start with why I chose not to become a nurse practitioner. Honestly, I never had an interest. I never like really pursued or looked into becoming a nurse practitioner. What I did know was that when I went to go get my bachelor's and I had to take these nursing theory classes and write these papers, there was not an amount of money that you could pay me where I would be like, you know what, I'm going to take another nursing theory class. I definitely was not going to take it at the graduate level. So that really was, I, that was like probably one of the biggest reasons I did not go because I mean getting my bachelor's was just like yeah I I keep thinking of those papers I just was not interested in because nursing theory is common sense it's like common sense things and I can't believe that there's like books and pages of things about you know being nice and controlling pain and then it became a whole theory so, uh, 
I did not want to do that. And then when I did try and dig a little bit more because people were asking that question back back in the day, I also was like, well, I may want to work in surgery, and I don't know any nurse practitioners that can work in surgery, or maybe I want to work in ER. And at the time, I was working for um, a hospital, but the group that was in the ER there said they didn't hire nurse practitioners because they don't have time to be teaching people how to suture when they were in school. Like, we want people to be able to go to work. Putting on splints, but we don't want to teach people how to do that. And PAs learn how to do that in school. And so I was like, well, what gets me out of hand holding? And that sounds bad. Like, I'm a compassionate person. I love taking care and helping people. But, yeah. So <laughs> it gets me out of, like, being a hand holder and um, gets me, like, that science why. Like, I want the science in me. And where am I going to get my procedures and have like the flexibility to move around because that was another thing like I was not interested in being limited by you know like specialty so I didn't want to go on to school and then if I wanted to change my mind because I do that often I would have to go back to school and learn something else or go down a different route so becoming a nurse practitioner just was not the route that I wanted to go um, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and be a PA, or at least apply to PA school. Now, being completely honest, I also like a challenge, and this is no shade, but I would not have to have tried as hard to get into nurse practitioner school. It's just the truth of the matter. Like, I wasn't a horrible student. I, was, I had experience. Like, I had letters of recommendation, and... I don't think that I would have had to try hard at all to get into nurse practitioner school. I had to bust my butt to get into PA school. I just, I mean, like, it was, that was a process, and I had no clue <laughs> what I was signing up for in, you know, seeking and wanting a challenge. So um, I like some of the more challenging and difficult ways of life you know I like to be a little bit different and again I wanted to be able to work in surgery the ER change my mind I've changed my mind so many times I'm trying to think of all the jobs I've had I mean I worked in neurosurgery that's my first job the emergency department that was my second job I like that the most but I didn't like the hours urology um urgent care and then like occupational medicine has been where I've been with like a slash of urgent care for the past few years. Um, I believe I have some great life work, life balance, and I have seen a lot, I've done a lot, and you know, PA works for me. Now, again, like I said, no shade, no bashing, but those are some of the reasons why I chose to become well, let me go to PA school instead of nurse practitioner school. Do I regret it? No. I mean, the biggest difference in battle that we're having right now is this full practice authority or what people may commonly think of like an ind ability to independently practice or not be tied to a supervising physician. And I'm a believer of that. You know, God places you in positions and puts you places where you're supposed to make a change. So while... I could be like, oh, man, I missed that opportunity. The truth is, if I ever wanted to pay for school to go on and get my uh, nurse practitioner degree, I could I still pay for my nursing license. Um, or I can sit here as a PA where I'm able to provide quality care still, able to do my procedures, able to move around, and just fight on causes that I believe. So I believe in um, us obtaining full practice authority or optimal um, team practice in the very near, near future and I want to be one of the people sitting at the table helping push these decisions and educating those who need to know. So I hope this video helped you some and if you have any other questions about like why, why do I think that? Because some of the some of the little kickback that I get from people in the comments has been like did you not know that you're somebody's no I'm not anybody's assistant did you not know you're somebody's assistant? No, I'm not anybody's assistant. I am the physician assistant. 
while the name changed, I mean, not the name changed, by the name may not be as clear. <laughs> Do I help the doctor? Absolutely. But will I help a nurse? Absolutely. I mean, like, I'm part of the healthcare team. Um, and also, people are very sensitive about their professions. Like, look, if you chose to become a nurse practitioner, kudos to you. All right? That works for your life. You didn't become a PA. You know nothing about what I'm talking about. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yes, so that's why I chose that. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, I hope this video helps you some and was shorter than my last one. Let me know. <laughs>